from a surgical perspective, how possible is it that somebody can kidnap somebody, operate on them, make away with their organs, go into a certain market somewhere, sell it, be given that money? Organ trafficking is a very lucrative black market trade, but it can only thrive where there is, you know, there are crooked colleagues who are, because for you to transplant that organ, there are a lot of things that need to happen. So theoretically, yes, in the Kenyan context, probably not, because if I want to walk you through a kidney transplant, for instance, if Mike wants to, try to donate his kidney to Stanley, Mike will go through a series of tests that confirm that his makeup and Stanley's makeup are so similar that Stanley will not reject Mike's kidney. This is the first level of assessment. Mm -hmm. Either you have a twin brother, because that is <coughs> obvious, everything is almost the same, or you have a close relative and then we have to check a lot of things, draw your blood, a lot of specialized tests. Then the day we are doing the surgery, both the, the donor and the recipient, or the person who is going to receive the donated organ, have to be in adjoining theaters. Two teams are operating. So that we are set, we say, clock, start. We start and then we tell you we are 80% 80, 80 complete, start on the other side. And then once the organ has been detached or removed from the feeding blood vessel, because it has constantly received blood for it to be alive, mm -hmm. it has to be transported in a cooler box for a certain period of time, beyond which it will no longer be viable. And therefore, for that technicality to be organized so that you have it within an hour or two, within this period of time, the network needs to be so intricately planned. Let me come to the Kenyan context. I feel it's not possible. I feel it's not possible. The expertise you need, unless someone who is, who is trained in surgery who knows how exactly to identify where am I going to cut this blood vessel, where am I going to cut this other tissue that is connecting, so that what I have removed can still be attached properly without danger in the next person. That, I find it nearly impossible, so to speak, unless there are surgeons who sneak without our knowledge, you know, and come to do this. So I don't feel, in the Kenyan context, that there is organ trafficking going on but those are personal feelings. What I feel could be happening, which we have sometimes felt, is, you know, the black magic market also. Mm. That says, oh, if you come with oh, this witchcraft. size... Yeah, witchcraft. Yeah. If you come with this size of a liver and this size of a kidney, you'll become a millionaire. You know, nonsense like that. Yeah. And there are people who will fall for that. And knowing the Kenyan ecosystem, I don't think we have an explosion of surgeons who are so jobless and they are hiding in the bushes and the apartments mm -hmm. just to get into the black market of organ trafficking. But it's something that's happening in some other countries elsewhere. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm.